So here we are, Marinda Dam. And that looks bloody impressive. So this will be my first event in many, many years. I'm actually wondering if we can go up to the top. No, there's a gate there. Must be a viewing spot somewhere. That'd be the easiest way. Anyway, gonna try and find my way up to the top of it. Wow. It is so pretty out here. I think I'm gonna have a good refreshed soul by the end of the day after this adventure. Uh, I've been up the top of the damn wall for a bit. Um, so people come running down this path that I'm doing and they do a loop and then they come back up. It's like, it's a hell of a um, uh, climb, so at least I know what I'm in for for the start of my adventure. But I'm going to head on down, chuck some stuff in the car, maybe have another toilet break and uh, a bit of food, and go from there. Came up here before, and I'm like, oh, people are going the wrong way. I was expecting them to come down the other way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's going to be a warm day, I think. Last time I was here, I was in the courting stages of my now wife. Oh, nice. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, well, we've been married for seven years. Yeah. Wow. We were, we were just going on a date. Oh, and, nice. Um, I don't remember when we went on that date. It was rather hilly. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think that happens with people that are into fitness. Yeah. Their idea of a date is going out for a three hour lawn run or something. <laughs> oh, yeah boy. See you soon. <laughs> oh, yeah boys. See you soon. <laughs> Have an awesome run, guys. See you, bro. Thank you. Hey, guys. Uh, about a few k's into the run at the moment. Heart rate's pretty high. I don't know if it's because of the terrain or probably is or the uh, strap on my chest is in a bad spot but I'm just going to run to how I feel enjoy the effort it's awesome and pretty here Whew. I'll be looking forward to the downhill <laughs> yep I think so Pass through the first aid station. Uh, seven k's in, I think, and we're climbing. Long, slow climb. Had a couple of pieces of watermelon, so I'm using this as a time to have my first cookie. Hmm. Awesome effort. Well done. See you soon. Hey guys, so there's a lot of um, undulations here, just ran down one of them, <laughs> uh, going up the next one, so just because the turnaround, they say it's all downhill from here, you're still going to have a lot of ups going back, um, I am at, 
9.5 kilometers in one hour ten. My original estimation was about two and a half hours to get to the turnaround, which would mean it would take one hour and 19 minutes from here for five and a half k's. I don't think that will be the case. It'll probably still take about an hour. <sighs> Not running any of the ups, I'm just uh, walking with purpose. <sighs> See you at the top. Just past the 21k turnaround. This is Dodds all over again. And Buffalo. Bloody hell. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie when I say it's uh, tough. <laughs> Very pretty out here. So, my initial prediction might be right for two and a half hours to get to the top. We shall see. Whew. Just gotta keep moving. I'm hoping they've got some coke up the top now. Should have had some at the aid station before. <sighs> so pretty. <clears throat> About to have someone come down, I think. Whew. Awesome effort. Doing it for the big guys, mate. That's it. How you feeling? I'm, I'm cramping all over. <laughs> yeah, I stay strong. Have some chips and coke when you get to the bottom. Nice. Have a good day. No matter how big the climb, you can always make it to the top. <sighs> and like they say, once you get to the top, find a bigger mountain. <sighs> Nearly there. <sighs> Almost there. Okay, let's go. What did I say? 15 k's, 2 hours 30. Kind of met my prediction. I'm still not at the top, but... <sighs> Though I did say that I don't think it was going to take me this long. Technically it hasn't. It's still before 2 hours 30. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Well now, this is what we call the act of gaming. <sighs> Let's go. So I knew it dipped down a little bit after getting to the top. But geez. Hopefully it's not too far down. Bye. Okay, I've refueled a bit. Oh, it's the timing mat. Uh, I've got the climb, if you can see the dots of people going up. Got that climb, and then it's downhill for a very long way. I just have to be careful, there's a lot of loose stones. I feel a bit more refreshed, but I need to find a spot to go off a Hey, just had some coke. Oh dear. Topped up my electro lights. Oh jeez, those hiccups. Oh. Let's just have some fun, hey? Um, so, no way it's going to take me an hour and a half to get back. Um, I think, what did I say? Two hours from the turnaround. So it put me at 4.44. We'll see. Bye. Whew. 
this climb back to the top here isn't too bad but it's not easy just had a lovely chat with the sweeper she's uh, on her way to the uh, turnaround so about uh, one or two k's behind at this stage for the sweeper which is fine I thought there was more people oh that breeze Lauren you remember what that breeze felt like the orgasm breeze <sighs> so yeah I thought maybe I was in the middle of the pack I'm not I'm towards the back but that's okay I'm having a good time Oh, that means I don't get to see many people now Maybe the uh, half marathoners Once I get to the bottom of this hill You know what this calls for? I haven't done it in a long time Yeah! Hope I haven't missed the turn off. I don't think I have. Because I don't want to come back up here. Huh, let's go. There you go. I haven't missed the turn off. Alright, I'm going to have a quick piss. Don't think anyone's coming up behind me, so. Let's go. Go, go, go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's just have some fun. Yeah, boy. Just twisted my ankle. Oh. Shit. That was bad. That was very bad. Oh. Fuck. Oh, it takes one wrong step. To ruin something. Oh, I hope this doesn't fuck up my training for the mile now. I have no choice but to go through here and get to the next aid station. I didn't fall, but it was a hell of a twist. The pain is slowly residing. Oh. I'll recess at the aid station. Oh, fuck. This is the worst part of the run. Coming down here, I think. I think if I just keep moving. Um, let the blood go through. I'll put my feet up at the next aid station to let the lactic acid get out. This is so hard coming down here with this ankle. I just need to be so careful. This is probably the worst section of the entire run. I had a quick look where I feel the pain in my ankle. It's not bruised or anything, so I think it's just like a nasty twist. I might put my uh, compression bandage on at the aid station once I get through. We'll see what they say. Let's go. Greetings and salutations, people. So I've made it through the next checkpoint. 
I've uh, strapped up my ankle just to give it a bit of support for the last few k's um, I thought I was gonna run okay let's run so it's pretty much small ups one downs at the moment I should be uh, getting to a checkpoint in a couple of k's and then it shouldn't be too far and I'll be finished there was a uh, creek that we ran through at the start and I'm looking forward to standing in that for a little bit just for my ankle it's feeling much better now yes it's still sore bandage is helping but we are getting through this I'm running so I think it was a bit of panic <laughs> when I uh, got that sun out of your eyes bit of panic initially I don't think it's going to hinder my training this is the end of my running block for this month and I'm really going to taper off for this week nothing heavy at the gym no PVs and for nothing I might just go for easy walks just to keep the legs moving and reassess the following week but I think I'm gonna be okay I'm gonna believe that because I am strong so car behind me no I'm hearing the water in the back back <laughs> Oh, joy. But yeah, this kind of running isn't hurting me. It's just like nice, easy. <laughs> Heart rate 80. So I think my strap's in the wrong spot. But it's not like I'm exerting myself. I'm spending more effort talking to the camera, aren't I? So yeah. Let's just enjoy. It's so nice hearing other people, like those two people ahead, overtook me recently. Let's go over here. You never know which is better. Yeah, they overtook me recently. It was so nice hearing their uh, chat. I need to pee. If there's no one behind me, I'm going to go behind this tree. Right, see you soon. I just got a pat on the back by some random. Isn't that nice? It's uh, so refreshing. It's actually restoring my faith in humanity a lot. I think the past two years not doing anything like this has really built up. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> brought up a lot of angst with a lot of people and pardon me pardon me again I think people need stuff like this to replenish the soul I think it's happening for me I've got so much energy at the moment and it's like oh, I just want to floor it down here but I think what caused my twist was a lack of complacency having the let's have fun moment and going a little bit stupid maybe I wasn't watching my footing nearly as much as I should have been but I know I could keep going for a really long time at this rate so I think it's still good training for the 100 miles yes it's downhill I'm just Floating along now. Heart rate is 80, um, which is good. It's just about keeping the legs moving, getting towards the finish that little bit closer. Um, having cookies. I hope there's some hot dogs left at the finish line by the time I get there, but probably not. Oh, 
This downhill section is where I ate my first cookie. So the aid station mustn't be too far away. And the river is just around from there where I'll uh, soak my foot a bit. I'm sure that'll go well for my ankle. It's not really burdening me, but I'm not gonna go any faster than this. Imagine if this was 100 miles and it happened even at the same time or sometime later. You don't wanna try and pick up the pace. Whatever pace I'm doing. <laughs> Currently it says my lap pace is ten and a half minutes. So even now with a twisted ankle, I'm moving about one to two minutes quicker than I need to complete the miler. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Alright. See you soon. All done and dusted guys. Got through there in the end. Walked with a lovely bunch of people at the end, which was great, and just kind of kept each other going. And it's good to have a beer at the end of the run. Don't worry, 0% alcohol. But I'm gonna have a hot dog. I'm helping someone get to Pakenham so they can catch a train home and go from there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry I didn't record as much as what I probably wanted, but overall, beautiful place to be. I'm gonna go get a hot dog. Bye. Thought I'd do a quick update this is the day after my 30 kilometer trail event um so that's the foot there it is still swollen like you can still see around here it's swollen um there's not really any discoloration which i'm happy with i'm getting more flexibility back in my toes which is good there's still a a bit of, I think it's mostly the inflammation that's causing the problem at the moment. So just going to keep icing it and I might go to the chemist and get a foot and ankle strap. Uh, I've got a doctor's appointment at 2.45. I've taken the day off just because it was very hard for me to walk. It still is. Um, I'm just going to rest it as much as I can and make sure that it is not more serious than what it is so go to the doctors go get an x-ray and i'll just have a phone consult in a couple of days i think so i've got today off tomorrow's a public holiday so i can really look at recovery and the next big bit of news is i've now signed up for the 100 miles so i'm gonna keep having faith that this is gonna heal this is a recovery week so I don't have to do anything. I'm not going to be going to the gym. I do have a PT session at the end of the week, which I will probably cancel. I'll let Nick know what's happened. And I'm going to go from there. I'm moving better than I was when I had the broken toe, I think. It's just the mo mobility. So it's like you can still see, yeah, whatever they are moving through there. All the tendons and everything, or joints, or ligaments. Um, so yeah, the more I rest and recover, the sooner I get back to training. But this is a recovery week, definitely a recovery week. So nothing strenuous. I'll probably just focus on my nu nutrition, like Courtney was saying. Just have good quality foods. Don't I have had pizza, <laughs> of course, after yesterday. But I'm just going to. Take it easy. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. It's a bit of a long video. I'm just going to have it as a real raw. Well, you would have seen if you've watched up to this point. Raw video. No music, just... It is what it is. There's been, like, three edits. That's all I'm going to do. Just get the video up and go from there. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye. Look forward to sharing the rest of the journey. Bye.